Hi guys, Nigel Farage was brought on to GB News when the viewership was tanking, and to a certain extent he has brought the ratings back up again. The former Brexit party leader was given his own show, where the audience would get to ask him questions. Sometimes like, when are you going to make Britain great again, and other such sycophancy. But Farage also had a segment where he would invite people on to talk about the things he likes. The guest would usually be somebody who agrees with him. That wasn't the case when he had former Wales and Everton goalkeeper Neville Southall on, who wasn't dancing to Nigel's tune. Neville rocks here, have a listen. Oh. Their job yeah. to sell newspapers and, yeah. Well, they do the same job as you, don't they? You know. Well, I tell you what I try to do. I try to get people of all different opinions mm -hmm. on this programme, regardless whether I agree with them, disagree with them, let them have their say. And I think that's, you know, in a democracy what we ought to be trying to do. Um, yeah, well, I've sat here for all night and I've disagreed with nearly 99.9 .9 of it. Well, here, well, see, here's the chance. Now, we had the local, we had a, we had a, we've had a couple of Tories on tonight. We had an independent on tonight. You are, Neville, a strong supporter of the Labour Party. Yeah, I, I believe in looking after the most vulnerable. And I think that's what any good country should be doing. And we don't seem to be doing it. We seem to be always loading it at the top. We should be looking at the bottom of the, of the rung. That the most vulnerable people in our society should be treated with the greatest respect and dignity and helped. So we don't have that society. Don't you think with the benefit system and everything else, we do enough as a country for those at the lower end of the income range? No, no one here. Really? No, no one, no one here. Why, why, why? Why should we keep loading the top up? Why should the people in, in this world keep getting... The, the gap between the rich and the poor has got wider and wider. That's you? true. Uh, well, why is that? Well Mr. well, Mr Blair started all that, didn't he? Well, well, it, 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 was, yeah. it doesn't matter who's in power. The way we should be looking at society is how we treat the most vulnerable. And at the moment, we don't treat them very well, do we? Otherwise, electric's gone up, everything's gone up, and what are they going to do for them? Nothing. There'll be people dying this winter. And there'll be people in power who won't give a monkeys. Wow. To, to go into Nigel Farage's den and to get the audience to clap for you and for Farage to be sit there, you know, like, like looking like an idiot is amazing and hats off to Neville here. And of course, what he's saying is correct. The government don't give a monkeys. They don't give a crap about what's happening to ordinary people. It's all about protecting the richest in society. It's about protecting the donor class, the people who donate to the Conservative Party. It's about making sure that they're okay. But demonising the working class, demonising people who are on benefits or on universal credit. And you notice here how Farage tried to, to do that as well. He said, well, you know, don't they get enough? Aren't people on benefits getting enough already? You know, Farage's uh, target audience is generally maybe working class people who believe that they're middle class or middle class people who want to be upper class and look down their noses on people who are on benefits or people who are struggling at the moment. You know, Neville is speaking the language of the of the working class, speaking the language of the ordinary man or woman on the street. Farage is a knockoff copy of that. Farage is trying to be like Neville, but he'll never be like that. Because he's a charlatan. What Neville says, he says it because he believes it. Farage says things because he believes he wants others to believe it. Uh, wonderful guy here. And, you know, I want to hear more from what uh, Neville has to say. Because he's telling the truth. People are struggling at the moment. Um, electricity has gone up. Their bills have gone up. It's a cost of living crisis that is affecting the, the poorest in society the most. And, as, and he's correct also that when he said that many people will not survive this winter. People are relying on warm banks. How is that acceptable in a first world country? Food banks, how is that acceptable in a first world, first world country? And I've said before, the government are happy to have food banks and warm banks in existence because it offloads responsibility, their responsibility, to charities. Once again, Thanks for Neville for thanks to Neville for going on the show, going into the the lion's den, um, and standing up to the bigotry and hatred that you get from people like Nigel Farage. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.